Hello vegan food explorers, today is the weekend and I'm just prepping some lunch and I've got an absolutely epic video for you. We're going to be reviewing the Taste and Glory Totally Tasty, Totally Meat Free Roast Tender Strips. So basically, chicken tender strips. Let's get into the video. Please don't forget to subscribe as we have loads of awesome content coming up. So I picked these up yesterday from Asda um, as we were just passing through and as you can see I've had half of them didn't make a review because I mixed it in and I forgot as I was going so we're now going to do a review and I'm going to cook them separately so we can see exactly what they are like I'm making a bit of a power bowl for Mexican flavour and then we're going to have our protein sauce which is going to be these bad boys so taste and glory I'm really confused but I think we worked out they used to be called naked and glory but I assume probably didn't go down that well in markets, in supermarkets and things like that, so they've changed it, but they have still kept this little little guy here, like an Adam and Eve kind of uh, covering there. So it doesn't really make much sense now, it's taste and glory, but whatever. I like it, I love the branding, it's really cool, it really stands out. So these are frozen, and I just looked online, they did say they were £3.50, but I'm 99% sure I picked them up for £3, so I think that's wrong. So £3, you get 220 grams of it. Per 100 grams, so they say per serving is 73, so what's that, about three servings? So let's do it by that. Per serving, they say it's 105 calories, 15 grams of protein. You know, we don't follow the advice on most things, so we're gonna be having half of these packs. So one pound 50, you get 143 calories, so 20 grams of protein, four grams of fat, which is basically nothing, and then carbs, three grams, so basically not. So basically, these are lean, lean protein made with soya protein so here's a complete protein watch some of my other videos if you want to know more about what a complete protein is but i'm really excited about these i really am excited because they are just i just love having these frozen packs in the freezer that of of kind of like a protein that i can just whip out pop into anything if we're having say like a i don't know anything like so yesterday i had a it's a goulash from our good friend uh the dirty vegan Matt Pritchard cookbook, um, and it's really nice, but it uses jackfruit. And when I worked it out, it had about five grams of protein in for the whole meal. So I just chucked in half of these, and you immediately bump it up by another 20 grams. They go in the freezer, so they last forever. Also, they're not, they don't come with a sauce or anything like that, so they can just be really versatile, adapted into anything. Just exactly like a chicken breast or beef mince or something like that is if you're a non-vegan. So, as we're vegan, we're going to be getting this. I'm a bit of a chicken, vegan chicken fiend. I've had, I think, every single one you can possibly buy, at least in the UK, with the This Isn't, the What the Cluck, and there's a new one which we'll be reviewing very soon from Future Farms. We've had all the Plant Pioneers stuff, but we've now got to get onto this. We've had their beef version of this, and they were okay. They were pretty, pretty good strips, but... For chicken, it's very different to beef, and I think chicken is still one of those open-ended um, vegan foods that hasn't been 100% nailed like a Beyond Burger, in my opinion. Vegan beef is done. We're done, we've hit peak. It's just amazing, tastes identical to beef, in my opinion. Don't think we're quite there with chicken. My personal favorite is What the Cluck and the This Isn't Chicken, but I think they're very different, and neither of them are exactly like chicken, but very, very close. So. Potentially, these could fill the gap. Anyway, you can cook them either pan fry to 10 minutes, oven cook them, which just seems weird to me, um, or you can even, it actually says on the back, can't wait, you can microwave them for 30 seconds. That just sounds absolutely horrific, so we're not gonna be doing that. Also, my microwave exploded the other day, so it's now gone, so we're gonna be cooking these on the pan, and then we're gonna be mixing them in, and we'll do a taste test. Let's go. Put them in, I thought I should probably show you what they actually look like. So you get quite a lot, and look at these, if you can see that. What I like is they're not like, so when you have the corn, Q-U-O-R-N, they're all obviously uniform and the same. These are super different. I mean, I these look like chicken. It's really quite worrying, actually. They've got the flakes, they've got the muscle strands, they've got these kind of chunks, then they've got these little bits that fall off. This looks like shredded chicken. I, I mean, I would say identical, and it smells really really good it smells almost just like chicken it's kind of like that faint aroma and something that i think is going to come on to when we when we actually do the taste this is they're called these roast tender strips that is the flavor we're going for 
roast chicken. These are going to be hopefully taste like when you have a roast chicken and then the very next day you've got those leftover bits that you put in a sandwich, in a stir fry, whatever. So that is the flavour we're going to be going for. Right, let's get them on the, on the hob. Okay, right, here they are. Ignore the pan. I've, had, I've cooked a few things on it today, but these chicken, oh, the smell in my kitchen right now is so good. I think these look identical to chicken, vegan chicken. Right, here we go. So hopefully you can see those. They look just absolutely incredible. They're all different. We've got bits. This could be from a, like a, a, a vegan a chicken breast. We've got bits that could be from that like chicken thigh. This to me, if you had a plate of that after a roast dinner, you would be pretty, I think it would be pretty difficult to tell that this wasn't actual non-vegan chicken, but it is 100% vegan. So you can see here, I would say, so my big criticisms of, my only criticisms of the vegan butcher and the this isn't chicken is, they went very different, where the this isn't didn't really look like chicken, but tasted a lot like chicken. Whereas the um, vegan but vegetarian butcher looked like chicken, but the flavor wasn't really like chicken. They're both really nice, but was it really like chicken? Potentially not. This, to me, looks like chicken, maybe even more than the vegetarian butcher. So let's go in for a taste. Mm. That is seriously, seriously good. Yeah, and as I said before, in the um, packaging, roast. You can just taste that through and through. Roast, roast, roast. It's just that slightly oily, slightly super tender on the inside but then a bit crispy on the outside I mean that is really good texture maybe oh I don't know just where maybe it's a bit too layered whereas with a chicken it would be almost maybe not as layered but that is splitting hairs it's really good it disintegrates perfectly it looks like it's been shredded it's really light. Again, it's super juicy on the inside, but yeah, I am seriously impressed. I would say, for me, we're getting there. This is in the realms of, I honestly think you could fool a non-vegan into thinking that this isn't, this is chicken as opposed to vegan chicken. It's really delicious. That's also the other thing. A lot of people are saying, well, as long as it's nice, does it really matter? I think it does matter because I think this is uh, it's worth talking about. It gets everyone talking about vegan food um, and excited and non-vegans who go, wow, I love chicken, but if I go vegan, I can still have exactly the same chicken. Um, so I do think it's important, but for, for vegans, it's maybe not that much important because I don't really mind if it doesn't taste exactly like chicken. I just want it to be so good, so, so good. So I will give this flavor and look wise, <laughs> I think nine. It's not quite a 10, but it's very, very close. For me, this is the best vegan chicken you can buy out there at the moment. Um, it's amazing. Price-wise, £3.50 for that, if that is how much they're selling it for now online, is a bit of a rip-off. But £3, so it's £1.50 for a pretty big serving, is pretty good. Hopefully it will come down, especially as it's frozen, I'd expect it to come down a lot more because of the lower costs in, um, because of the lower costs in transportation and you don't need it to be as fresh and it can be in a van or a lorry for much longer and it can be on shelves for much longer. So I'd expect that to come down quite a lot. My word, we are really talking serious, serious contender for best, best vegan food out there or mock meat. So 100%, 110% recommend getting down to your local as the Sainsbury's. I think they're in Waitrose as well, in the freezer section, getting this getting this into a stir fry, getting it into a, oh, a sandwich. I just thought, I think the next thing I'm gonna be doing, getting some really nice thick crusty white bread, this, bit of lettuce, and then some vegan Hellman's mayo would be absolutely unreal. So yeah, definitely recommend it. The future is here. Vegan chicken is basically done. Let me know in the comments if you've had this or anything better. What do you think's better? I wanna hear it because I need to try it if I haven't already tried it. Let me know in the comments and of course, we will see you in the next video.